What's up you guys? So we are back at it. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like and subscribe all my videos and hit that notification bell for future updates. I uh, hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. But today, so I needed some binders. Now, most of the, the binder I bought, I bought for some baits that I already had, but I did buy some additional colors. And my main bait, which is my Cinco bait, that bag is trash. I did some research looking for the best worm binder, and they've gotten super, super expensive. So, the ones I used to use are this one. And these are the original Bass Pro ones. You can see they're wide. This is the biggest one. I think it was like 11 by 14. But, this was for my mag worms. Could put them all in here. I've got mag twos in here. And I've got my old monsters in here. And these bags were big enough Traditionally, I like to put the worms right in, pull them out of the bags and put them in here because then you could just pull one out. It was easy. You could put it back in if you didn't really use it. Um, and you could put a bunch of them in there. So you could put a bunch of bags in there of your favorite colors. Uh, but these bags, these syllables, were thick, sturdy, and you could actually fit the bag the worms came into if you wanted to pull that bag out. You know, if you got a lake where you know it's a red shad deal or a green pumpkin deal. You can pull those green pumpkin bags out and just bring those to the lake versus bringing the whole worm binder. Or if you go with somebody in another lake. But these were great. They don't make them anymore. They make a Bass Pro, a new hard sided box, but they're not very thick. So they give you the pages, but you can't put any worms in them. And what they have done is they've made them a little wider so then you could stretch them out. You could put them in and not double layer them to make it thinner. But then, for me, I have a small boat. I have a small day box. My day box is really my only storage box. So you can't get those in. Same issue with the money bags, which is a great concept. Um, I thought about those, but they're $13.99, $14.99. And they're so big that they're really hard to get in my day box. So I love the original one. They had a smaller one. I've got a bunch of those that worked great. I used this one. This was awesome for my Cinco's. It was a storm. Had the metal rings, the bags, had the metal rings in here so they didn't rip. But the bags weren't very good. The bags weren't that thin. I mean, we're pretty thin. They were rubber. They lasted good and I put my worms directly in them. But the size was perfect for a Cinco once you took them out of the original packing. And they stretched. Some of them will last, but the biggest thing was the clips that seal them would come off of these sliders. It's a slide clip instead of a press seal. And they would come off. But the size was perfect because it was long enough and it wasn't too high. And the key though was how thick it was. Super thick. The width so you could put a lot of baits in it and I had a ton in here probably why the zipper ended up breaking so I was looking for a new worm binder this unfortunately is what what you're getting for that price point of $11.99 $14.99 I went on Amazon there's several and I'll show pictures $14.99 $15.99 $16.99 they're super thin I mean, you have very little width. And as you can see, my Cinco bag, and I've got a lot in here. And they're not in the bag. So now some of these, um, the ones that came, the bags that came with this, and this is the bigger one. I think it's 11 by 8. These you could actually put the original Cinco bag in it, which was what I'll probably do. But I used some of the smaller bags that I bought from Bass Pro when I needed to replace the, some of the bags for this storm. So I've got this one filled up pretty good. And you can see the big bags that come in this, you can fit the whole Cinco bag in there. And you got room on the side. And I've got some here. So you can put your bag in there. 
And you can fit a couple of these. Comes with 10 bags. It's $11.99. But, you know, how long is this Velcro class gonna last? You've got all this that can snag on stuff. It's not my favorite. So, surprising to me, and I know I've seen these and I was like, ah, I don't need all that stuff. I went to Academy and this is the smaller one, I think. They have a really big one, which would be great for magworms. And this is the, um, probably the medium. It doesn't tell what the uh, width of it is, the dimensions. But it's got this pocket, and that's what I was a little suspicious about. But is also cool. They give you this box. It's got three, one, two, three, four, five, six. 18 slots. It slides in here. Perfect for tungsten sinkers. Then they give you this box you could use for hooks. So this is really a small go to the pond kind of box. You open it up and that's where that second box went. It went in here and then you had 10 bags. But I just need a nice wide depth, nice sealable zipper bag. $14.99 at Academy. Now I have, yesterday we were at Walmart and I saw they have an Oki. I'll post a um, picture of that one. It's $9.99. Now it's square, which I don't really like square because this was rectangle. It's smaller, it can get my box, I can fit a bunch of them in there. But being that it's square, you can space those baits out more. If you put them in the bag, you can space them out so it'll make it thinner. So that's good, but the bags it comes with will not hold, I don't believe, a full size bag. They definitely won't hold like a speed worm bag. Those little bags are longer. Mag trick worm bag, those bags are longer. The baits would fit in there if you took them out. The Cinco bags, I don't think will fit either. The Cinco's will fit fine in there. I might transition to that bag for my Cinco's, but this bag for $14.99, when you take this out, you take this out, you've got, it, it gives you more space in here. I've got the original bags that came in here and I pulled some of the newer ones that I bought out of here, the smaller ones. I've got mag trick worms in here, my favorite colors, and I kept them in the bags. That way, if I'm out on the lake, and they're, they're biting a certain color, I can pull that bag out and lay it on top. Normally I'll pull, if they're in the bags, I'll pull several of them out, lay them on the deck, let the sun kind of soften them up, straighten them out. But then if you go to another lake, you tend to bring that whole bag. But if I go to a lake where I know it's a June bug lake, it's a tannic lake, or I know go to the, somewhere in Tennessee or Alabama, it's a green bug, a watermelon lake, I can pull those bags out. And I could have one of these built just for, say, slide them into one and have all my green pumpkin baits, all my watermelon baits. So my mag trick worms, some Cinco's, some speed worms, um, some U tails, and put them in one. This bag is just straight up the deal. For $14.99, you get these that you could use somewhere else. Or if you don't have a lot of different colors, or a lot of different baits, you can still keep them in there, but I'm getting mag trick worms, my mag swim worms, and my regular speed worms, the smaller ones. Now, the smaller bags, yeah, the smaller bags that I used. Um, that I bought for the replacements do not fit the mag speed worm bags, but the bags that come in this one would. You can put that whole bag in there, pull that bag out. I got my uh, green, my June bug speed worms. Slide them back in there. Slide them back in there, and I'm good to go. So, like I said, I, I used some of this. I had bought some bags, some replacement bags to 
fit this. I put them in here and I'll use those probably till they wear out. They're, they're the smaller version. Where are they? They're here. So they are not letting that bait spread out. So it'll get even flatter with these bigger bags. You can see here, they're a little bit narrower. They're about the same length. But I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 bags with worms in here. Now the one bad thing is I didn't see any replacement bags at Academy, so I don't know if they carry them. These bags are good. They're the thick, thick um, Ziplocs. The downfall is they don't have the metal rings in them. They're just a punched hole. So you're gonna have to be careful with them so that you don't rip that. Because once that rips from pulling and flipping, you're, you're gonna have problems and you're gonna have to replace the bags. But if you keep these bag, you keep the original bag in there, you can pull it out and you won't be poking around in there that much. But I've got my favorite colors, mag trick worms, which are basically June bug, green pumpkin. That's really all you need. But I got some black, some watermelon candy in here and some red bug which is now a color I'm really starting to like. And you could fit two full bags in these, in these, these binder bags. And then, you know, I got my speed worms, pretty much the same colors. I've got a red bug, June bug, green pumpkin, watermelon red. And then my smaller worms, I've got June bug, green pumpkin, watermelon red, I've got some sapphires, no, no, some um, purple passion, I think, um, I'll put in here. But for $14.99, the width, once you take this out, is perfect. Then you pick up an extra color, you've got that bag, you can slide some in. There's where I got the, it's a, actually candy bug. And then I put a, a bag of those uh, Z-worms. They're kind of like a mag trick worm, but they have the claws on the back. And, a, and I got a pack of um, trick worms in green, green pumpkin red. So you got your bag, you're like, oh, you know what? Let me try this color. Slide them in there real quick. And you don't have to have a bag for them, for the binder. And you're ready to go. So for your money, $14.99, Academy, H2O Express, dual wrap worm binder. I um, put a little, made my little tag. It's got speed worm, mad trick worms in there. Made a label, put some tape over it. Now this hole, there's no ring in there, no metal, and it's just on this. That's probably eventually gonna rip out. When it does, I'll just slide it in here, this mesh net, and sit it here. But after a couple trips, I'll remember this is my um, my mag speed worm bag. But if I get another bag just like this, because they're the same color, you know a label helps. So if they had something you could slide it in, like a luggage bag, that would be nice. Now you can't really stick these labels on here, but for your money, the, the next best one I saw at Academy and I'll post, I'll post a picture. It was $39.99 and it looked more like these um, where they had some width. But you're talking about $40 for $14.99. So I just wanted to share that with you. I've done some research. I hope that helps you. Till next time, keep them rod tips bent. Your boy B-Maz is out. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the water.